Ты готов сейчас на русском поговорить? Нет. Do you understand now the mentality of Russian people? Everyone is angry. You like smile more often than we? <laughs> everyone in Russia answer normal. Normal, just normal is normal. Why everyone just say normal? <laughs> Dear local fans, today we have an interview with uh, Joao Mario. Wow, every time when I say Joao Mario, I just get shocked. Do you feel like the same emotion? Of course, for me, it's a big honor being here. Uh, I'm enjoying a lot, you know, this, this new experience for me. Every time that I, that I came to the pitch, I'd, I'm just trying to, to give my best. And I'm happy everyone at local likes me, so it's, a, it's an honor for me. I like your words, but I meant to say that João Mario is maybe kind of too big player for our club because you know, you're playing for Portugal national team, you're playing in English Premier League in Syria, uh, a lot of money were paid for you, and now you're playing in Russia, so maybe you could be not so motivated or something like that, no? No, I don't think in that way. I, I'm always motivated. It uh, uh, doesn't matter where I am. Uh, I also s start being like this since I I was in Sporting and, and I go on loan to uh, a small club than, than Sporting. Uh, but if you, if you are happy with your choices, you just give your best. And of course, I have a uh, big motivation because I, I also want to be in Champions League next year uh, with Loco. Uh, I, I think we can, we can achieve that, uh, that uh, object. I want to be also at the European with my national team, so I have a lot of big motivations. To, to do well here. You're always smiling, always hard working. How did you find uh, this mood, to be in this mood like every day? Or you also face some mental difficulties, but we just don't see them. I love being here, I love the team. Um, so I enjoyed the, the, month, the, the last months that I played. I missed to play, so uh, I'm just always happy because <laughs> I do what I love, I'm a blessed, so I, I think I, I just need to enjoy. Did you really like the first part uh, of the season? Yeah, of course, we, we start really well. Um, we did a lot of good things. Of course, we, now we, we know that we need to improve, but we, we did a lot of good things, even in Champions League, uh, against a tough opponent. So uh, what I expect for the second part is the team uh, gets on his best way, we can be uh, and qualify for Champions League for sure. What are the main factors uh, using them we can really improve? So what are the key to success? I remember our best games, we are so compact, you know, uh, we understand each other on the pitch. I think we, we need to get back on that, you know, uh, respect a lot of teamwork, you know, uh, no one alone wins nothing, uh, that's the main thing. Uh, I think we just need to play as a team. Everyone needs to be focused and everyone needs to be uh, on the same way and everyone needs to understand his role on the team. What about your conditions? Are you on fire right now or you still need some time? No, I think I'm getting uh, close to my best performance. So, uh, of course, I stopped a little while because of my injury, but now I'm feeling uh, confident again. I'm feeling well, so the return of the league, I will be on my best shape. When I've been watching the match uh, against uh, the final match of Qatar tournament, I thought that you're not so comfortable on the pitch because maybe the, because of the position of center forward or maybe because we had to defend a lot uh, playing with Rostov, especially during the first half. Th that's how I saw it. No, for sure I'm not a striker, a forward, of course, uh, but sometimes uh, this particular game, so many injuries players from, from the first 11, uh, so sometimes you just need to, to do the best for the team, of course. Uh, also, we, we spoke on the off time, we, we tried to fix some positions and I think we did a, a really good answer on the second half uh, against a tough team, physical team too. But of course, I'm feeling more comfortable uh, when uh, we attack more is where I feel on my, on my beach. So, <laughs> of course, uh, I prefer always when we, we have this superiority when we have the ball, I expect that we will return on this, on this kind of play because it's where I feel more comfortable. Have you already understood the way of football we, we're going to play the second part of the season? I think we have a, a, a particular way to play, so I think everyone else on the team understands that. We know that we have a, a great team, a great players, 
So I'm not going to say that we have the obligation to qualify for Champions League, but if you look at our squad, uh, I think it's really possible and um, I think everyone should focus on that and understand that we have an important role, we have an important player, so we need to focus and, uh, and try our best to qualify for Champions League. In terms of the squad, are we the best in Russia right now? I think uh, us and Zenit could say that we have the best squad. Uh, of course, when they have 11 points ahead, it's, it's difficult to, to say that there is a better team than them, but we already beat them twice this year. Why the gap is uh, so high, what do you think? I think at some point uh, uh, during the Champions League games and also the, um, the last month we, we lose a little bit of the, the balance of the team. Um, we really want to do the things well, but for some, for some reason uh, the things that didn't happen. So I need to, to get on this balance because it's important for us. We start so well, so we need to, to return to to this way and uh, hopefully now with the break, with all the, the, the trainers, all the trainmen, we can really uh, start well and uh, go on. Many fans and also as I heard some coaches uh, think that the, the defeat to Juventus team at home was the most difficult uh, in terms of mentality because you played so good that you couldn't lose, but you lost final minutes and after that Maybe it was difficult for you to start uh, hard working again, playing good games again. Do you agree? It was a difficult game because we did, uh, in my opinion, also in Turin, a fantastic game because it's never easy to play there. Of course, you can say that we defend a lot, but if, if you don't defend against these teams, we're going we gonna to lose three for, for a nil. So at home, we, it was different and we knew that we could do more. We tried to do more, we create chances. So. Uh, but it's Champions League, these details, um, when you play against these teams, Juve, Atletico, all the small details count, so uh, I think it's all also a matter of experience, you know. Uh, you cannot get this track one second because uh, in one second you can lose the game and it was um, a breaking point for us, for sure. Have you ever uh, seen uh, that miss uh, since that game in your, like, Nightmares when the defender of Juventus just ah, yeah, well, yes, from the line. I think I couldn't do better, you know, I should. <laughs> uh, it was difficult because it was so fast, the move. When I analyze my actions, I try to, to, to think what I can do better or uh, what I can improve. So, but in particular, this action, I think I, I do everything possible. I also try to hike up a little bit the ball but he, he was just at the right position. Do you often analyze uh, how you play the game or is it just the, the, the page that you turn down and go next? No, no, every game I, an I analyze, I have some, some apps that I could see my uh, individual actions. Of course, I know where I can improve, uh, where I can do better. If you don't see where you can, can improve, you will not know it. So, there is no better way to, than to see an Im image because they don't lie, you know, you are seeing you, what you did, so I think it's the best way for improve and of course uh, I like to improve always. You'd like to, to, to show the fans the new version of João Mario, the second part of the season? I'm always trying to do better. Uh, uh, I know that I will do better because I'm in better conditions. It was a pity that I get injured because I, I was feeling really comfortable. I was. Uh, feeling really confident too so uh, but now it's passed now i'm getting to my best uh, my best shape and for sure they will see a a, a, a good joe mario for sure name please the best partner of our club the best partner for you maybe in midfield maybe a partner as a striker i don't know it's up to you i would say either because uh, we understand each other <laughs> He's really intelligent too, you know, he knows my way to play, I already know his way to play. He always tried to help me, he always tried to, to tell me where he wants the ball, whether uh, I can get him the ball. So I would say either because we have a really special connection also outside the pitch, so I would say him.
As I know, Eder is also a very intelligent person out of the field. Did he help you really a lot to adopt here in the team in Moscow and Russia? Of course, it was really important for me having him because uh, he's an amazing person, amazing friend. Um, and I know that I can really listen to him because I really, I really trust him. So it was really important for me because um, when you come from other reality, when you arrive a new country, a new culture, it's important to have someone that speaks your language, that understands where you feel, where you think before, uh, what you need to change. So it was really important for me having him. Did you really need uh, his experience some time when you really faced maybe some strange things? Can you name maybe some examples? Strange things uh, were... In maybe general. in life, maybe in the team, I don't know. Maybe in terms of uh, local dishes, I, I don't know. I'm already living in Italy, I already live in England, so I'm used to a different mentalities as well. So when you arrive to a new country, uh, you need to respect them, them, their mentality and their culture. So when I arrive here, of course, there is things that are new for me and for him not. So I was also asking him why people do that, why people <laughs> think that. But I think it's normal when you arrive in a new country, for example, here in Moscow. Uh, I remember the first days. If I ask to anyone, how are you, you know? And in my country, even in Italy or England, when you ask someone to say, uh, how are you? People say, I'm OK, I'm not OK, you know? And everyone in Russia just respond, just answer normal. <laughs> and I was like, why normal? <laughs> that something happened to you? Because when you ask normal, uh, when you ask the normal in my country, it's like something happened, you know? So I just ask her, but why everyone just say normal? <laughs> because if you are okay and if you are not okay, you say bad or right. So it was, it was a funny thing that I, that I learned from him that it's just culture, culture, you know? So, but it was funny at the beginning because everyone asked them the same way, you know? So, I didn't knew it. Do you understand now the mentality of Russian people? A little bit more for sure, because uh, I've already spent so, so, so many time with uh, Russian people. I already know the coach, the, the staff, the, the medicals, the players. So uh, for me, it's not a, a new thing now. Can you compare the mentality of Russian people with maybe Portuguese or Italian? I mean, are we similar to, to each other? Uh, there is a lot of big difference, of course, because uh, Portugal and Italy, they are uh, similar. We are Latinos, you know. We have the same habits, you know, the same expressions. Uh, not exactly the same, but closer, you know. You, like, smile more often than we. Yeah, yeah for sure, for <laughs> sure. I think uh, I would compare more uh, Russian people to England, for example. Uh, more serious, more um, more respectful. It looks like that uh, everyone is angry, but it's not that. You know, uh, I just now I'm getting better to know the people, and I'm just I'm just surprised with the kindness that you do you have in in Russian people too. Okay, and what about cities? You, because you've lived in Porto, in fantastic Lisbon, in Milan, and now Moscow and also London, yes. Can you compare what is the best city? What is the place uh, of Moscow in your, in your list? Uh, my favorite city is London, uh, because uh, even when I was not living there, I really knew the city and I love the city. For me, it's, it's, the, it's my number one city. Uh, so after London, I would say Moscow, because they are similar, you know, big cities, you have big shoppings, you have big restaurants, you have a lot of options. So for my lifestyle, um, I enjoyed more here in Moscow, for example, than in Milano, because it is different. Um, also the people, you know, the interaction with the people. Uh, here you have more privacy, it's more respectful. Uh, so after London, I would say Moscow, because uh, I'm really enjoying living in a big city like Moscow. You've told that Moscow suits to your lifestyle. Yeah. And what is your lifestyle? Because you're not so open-minded person in terms of media, Instagram and so on. So really rare moments when we, we see some photos maybe of you with your girlfriend or wife. We even don't know. Fiance, yeah, my fiance. So why don't you want uh, to, to, to show your happiness? No, I think the social media is good, of course, but 
I would say that I use for promotion my work more than my pri private life. Of course, I have a private life uh, with my fiance, with my friends, with my family. But I think this is just for me. I don't need to share or I just share what I want. You know, I, I don't see the obligation to share uh, what I do, uh, where I go, where I go to eat, what I buy. So I'm really happy with my life. I enjoyed a lot even in Moscow, especially in Moscow. That's where I live, but I don't see the necessity to show to the people yeah. what I'm doing in my private life. Of course, sometimes I share with my fiance some places where we go, but I don't see exactly what I need to show every single detail of my private life in Instagram or in other social media. Does she like Moscow? What place uh, does Moscow take in her list? She's living with me. She loves. Um, we always trying to, to know uh, new places. She's more like me, she's calm too. She likes to spend some time at home. Uh, she likes to do some shopping, uh, normal shopping for, for the days. We normal, we just walk around to Red Square and that place. So we have the same kind of habits. Uh, so it's good when you have someone that has the same wishes than you and for sure is enjoying because it's a beautiful city. We didn't spend so much time there because after I get injury, I need to go, to go back to Portugal. But I'm, I'm really uh, even anxious to go back to Moscow to, to, to know how is the city during the winter and to, to see how cold it is again. This year, is the, the winter is so European that you couldn't see the difference yeah. in terms of climate. Yeah, we even didn't have snow between the New Year holiday. That's for the first time in years. Yeah, fantastic. So. I should be there, I was not there. <laughs> Do you live somewhere near the center or near the base? Near the center, yeah. Near the center. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about traffic jams? What do you think about, I don't know, what other difficulties do you face uh, in your life? Maybe um, because of language or I don't know. No, the traffic is okay. I don't know, sometimes it's, uh, I just took more traffic when I come back to the base, to, to home, um, but never more than an, an hour. Some of our teammates just tell me that sometimes it stops, it blocks everywhere and you could stop like two hours, but it, luckily it didn't happen. I think the language is the major uh, difficult that I had because sometimes some people don't speak English, I don't speak Russian as well. Uh, so I think a big thing for living in Moscow is getting faster on the Russian because it would help for sure in your private life. Did you start learning Russian? Some words, yes, some things, some lessons. Now I'm trying to uh, learn first the alphabet, you know, to at least could read, you know. So it takes time because it's not an easy language for us to learn, but um, I think I can make it, yeah. Ты готов сейчас на русском поговорить? Нет. I understand a little bit what you said, but uh, it's, it's, it's not easy for me now to understand. Uh, I just understand some words, you know. But I never understand the whole phrase because it's, it's early for me. Yeah. Does uh, the fact that you've started learning Russian means that you are ready or you plan or you want, I don't know, choose uh, the, the, the correct one, stay in Moscow for years in the future? I never plan a lot, you know. I used to plan a lot when I was uh, a little bit younger, you know. Now I think more important for me, for my, my life, is for my career is to um, to think in the moment, you know, I, I really enjoyed the first part of the season. Uh, I think uh, we need, even if it's difficult to win the, the league, for, for sure, we need to, to focus on the same object, on the same level. So I'm really focused to, to at least achieve the, the Champions League with Loco. I think it would be a, a good mark for us, for all of us. Uh, and I cannot predict what's going to happen in six months. So I don't think too much because uh, for sure I'm happy now. Uh, I hope the club is happy with me too, but we will see. We never know. Are you more motivated thinking about uh, the Champions League sport or uh, thinking about uh, Euro 2020 call up? For sure for me to be at Euro, I think uh, I need to do my best at lo in Loco and achieve Champions League. So I think they are connected. And I don't see priorities, so I think for me to be at Euros, I need to be at my best and in Loco. So luckily we can achieve Champions League and uh, I will do my best to, to help the team. Uh, and I think we are more than capable to do that. 
I remember your first matches in Portugal Euro 2016 and uh, your first matches were not, were not so good yes, because draws and maybe not so bright football in terms of attacks. And, uh, I remember from the time that some fans of also Portuguese national team they wrote some messages like, wow, number 10 João Mario, he did not uh, create moments, uh, he doesn't score, and this, this, not, this is not number 10. And also there were a lot of critics uh, to Eder. But after that, you won the Euro, you were so good, the whole tournament, after that you go to Inter. So is it uh, the reaction you always uh, can show to, to, to the critics? Yeah, there is always someone to uh, criticize, you know. It's easy to say he doesn't do that, he doesn't do that. But with, with experience, with, uh, I think at the beginning it can affect you, you know. I was 22, 23 at that time. Uh, of course, it can affect you because you are so young. But now, um, even here or in, in Portugal national team, I just don't listen, you know, uh, because everyone is always ready to criticize. But um, no one even think where you can be better, where you, you can improve. So I, I just focus my on me, you know, where I can do better, where I, I, I think I, it can help him with the age, you know, with the years passing by. I just don't care about critics. Did you miss uh, sporting team? I can explain my question because as I see that since the time, since the transfer to Inter Milano, you like didn't find your home team again. Did it affect you? No, of course uh, it was, I spent there 15 years, you know, so of course at some point you, you feel like uh, you are in home and Sporting in particular feels like I'm home because I spent there so many time. Now in football it's so competitive, you know, so you just need to to get ready for any challenge. Uh, you just not, you, you don't have time to, to stop and think why this didn't happen. So I never, I never think on the past. Um, I know the feeling to feel at home because I spent there 15 years, but it's going to be difficult now to feel. Uh, in other place because I grew up there, you know, so now it's more professional things, you know, professional work. Uh, so where I step by, I just think to give my best to be professional. Everyone can say whatever you want, but they can never accuse you to not be professional. Uh, and to feel, to feel like I mean, in home, it's difficult to feel the same uh, sensation that I had there because I spent there 15 years. Is Serie A maybe just not your championship? Because uh, when I remember you playing for West Ham, even the team was not organized so good at that time, but still you played a really good and really important role. So maybe just Italian championship is not yours. I think I had my experience there, of course. Uh, I think it's more about my mentality uh, for what kind of football they have there, what kind of training they have there. Um, I think if you don't feel motivated to be somewhere, you need to change. I think it happens to me. Um, I was not really identified with the process, with the trainings, uh, with all the tactical stuff. Um, but I tried, you know, it, uh, it was a good experience for me to grow up, you know, as a footballer, but also as a man, because it's really tough there with all the media, with all the, the supporters. Uh, so. Uh, one the step that I did is about criticals. It was because I stepped by there, and it was so critical country, you know. So people really love football that they just say whatever they want, and uh, it makes me grow up. So now I think I'm really more ready to other kind of stuff. That uh, when I arrived there, because I was so young, it was my first experience. Uh, uh, outside of my country, so I think uh, I really grow up there more than a man, than a footballer. Of course, uh, maybe they, they've criticized you a lot, some, some fans, yes, but I think it's also kind of positive side of reaction, uh, because you could feel you, yourself like a football star, because I think that here in Moscow, not so many local fa fans just uh, recognize you somewhere in the street? It depends where you like. As I told you before, uh, some part where I didn't identify so much is because for me it's not important to be on the street and everyone recognize you, you know. Uh, maybe for some football players, yeah, but um, I think I have more English mentality, you know. I just want to be professional, go to my work 
uh, be respect and this happens in Moscow, you know, that's why I, I was saying before that I prefer to live in Moscow and in London than in Italy. Uh, but it's just my opinion, it's just my way to be, uh, that's why maybe I didn't identify so much also uh, with the club, but I think it was an experience, you know, uh, I experienced there, I experienced here, I experienced in London, and now I know uh, where I can choose, you know, uh, but I know because I experienced there before I didn't experience, uh, in, you can never know. Okay, let's talk about the experience uh, you face in Lokomotiv. Uh, you've said that the squad is so good, uh, no doubt, absolutely. Obviously, you've heard uh, some things about Krihovek uh, previously, about Chorluka. Who surprised you mostly when you, when you first have trainings with the team? Uh, Alexei, maybe, yeah, for sure. I didn't knew him at all because uh, I had watching some games before I came, but it's different when you're training with the players. Um, uh, when you're training, uh, you can see what, how strong they really are. Uh, and I think it was the, the one that surprised me more. Okay, uh, we always uh, talk about uh, some rumors of Alexei maybe leaving the team to a bigger club. Yeah. What does that mean, bigger club? Uh, what uh, should Lokomotiv improve to become a bigger club? It's also when you talk a bit uh, about bigger, bigger clubs, you are talking also about uh, uh, leagues more competitive, you know, when you talk the clubs with Premier League, they are not just good because it's Tottenham, it's Man United, it's Man City. It's also because the league is so powerful, so, so attractive, people like to watch, you know. Of course, he's playing for a big club in Russia, but uh, he can have also the ambition to play in big club in England or big club in Italy or big club in Spain. Uh, I think it's just normal because uh, football is where it is and where, in my perspective, what does to be a big club or, or not a big club is what people like. So I think Loco could, of course, uh, maybe always think bigger, you know, uh, I don't know, big, big stadium, big academy, you know, improve the, the, the youth team uh, is where you can really uh, make money in, in these days, you know. If you have a youth, really good academy, they will grow up, they will know the reality of the club, they will have better in the first team. Uh, we have good examples on the first team now. So, for sure, if you want to improve, you need to, to start with the, the youth team, with, the, the, with better academy, for example, better structures for the first team. Uh, and for sure, I think that is something that Logo can improve, for sure. So let me then go back to my first question. Does João Mario feel born playing here in Russia? No, not at all. Uh, I think I have my objectives, you know. Every time that I come to the pitch, uh, it's always a challenge, you know. Even the way we play is a challenge for me. Uh, so uh, I never get bored to play football. Uh, it's my life, it's where I like. Uh, it's where it allows me to be to, in my national team. So I never bore it. What are your personal challenges for the final part of the season? Maybe some amount of goals or assists, or it doesn't matter for you? I would like to score more goals, for sure. I think it's the, my main target, uh, because I know that if I score more goals, uh, I, will, I will also help the team. So uh, I don't want to be individual, you know. So for me personally, I would score my, more goals, because I know that I will help the team. Maybe let's find out some Amount, quantity? I don't know. I don't, uh, I, I, we're going to play 11 games, so if I would say five, six games, uh, goals, it will be amazing. If not, then you give me another one hour interview. Yeah, if not, I promise that I, we, can, <laughs> we, can, <laughs> we can talk one hour more. Edder is your best friend in the team. But do you, do you connect uh, a lot with other guys? Of course, uh, especially with uh, Brazilians, of course, same language. Uh, Murilo is a fantastic guy too. Um, also, I have a good relationship with the Russian players too, the, the twins, Barinov to Korluka. I try to speak with everyone, you know, uh, Kula as well, so I really I really try to speak to everyone to, to understand them as well, you know, as a person, as a player. Vlad, also amazing guy. 
So f luckily we have an amazing team and uh, you can speak to everyone and they are so, so cool, so it's fine. Do you feel that you've already started to, to, to influence your team in terms of the mood, uh, in terms of strong mentality? Because you look like a person with really strong mentality, the mentality of a champion. So do you see the potential to, to study Makiev, Kulikov and other young guys? I like to be an example, you know. So I always try to speak with them, with Maga, with Kulikov, because you can see they have a lot of potential. Uh, they are starting playing more with us now. Uh, I also like to speak with young players because they can listen you more. For my point of uh, what I like in football, I think there is the two most potential guys that we have on the team. So hopefully they will play, play more uh, with us and um, they will improve and they, they have everything to improve. So hope to see you them playing more. You're talking about Makiev and Kulikov? Yes. And uh, can you name other guys? Of course, Roma as well. Is, uh, uh, you can see that he has a lot of potential, he has everything. Uh, I think he just needs to play more. Not always it's important to play in a big team, you know, when you are so young. What really matters is you playing constantly. So they need to, to get here in Loco or everywhere the, the chance to play more. Uh, is the only way that it will improve because they really training well, but if you don't play, it's always different. What was the, the worst, the most difficult moment in your football career? The most difficult moment? <sighs> Until now, I don't know. At some point, uh, maybe in Italy, uh, when I moved to, to West Ham, as I said before, I was not identifying with the kind of trainings, with the mentality, uh, also with some people uh, in the club. Um, so I think when you wake up and you are not happy to go training and to training, uh, you need to change for sure. You're always smiling, you're always hard working, like to repeat it. Can you give some advice? Uh, yeah, I'm not a football player, but still, for me, for, for guys from our media team, for our fans, how to, to, to be so confident, how to, to have a so highly motivation to, to go forward day per day? No, I just <laughs> grow up. Uh, I always believe in myself, you know. I think uh, it's the first rule, you know, for, for achieve your dreams when you are a kid. Um, you cannot expect that uh, ev someone will dream for you, you know, someone will believe in you. Of course, I have people that believe in me, around me, but I need to be the first to believe, you know. If I don't believe in myself, I, I cannot expect that you believe, my fiancé believe, my best friend, my mother, my brothers. So, uh, I, I don't know, I'm happy because uh, I like my life. Uh, I like play football, I love play football. Uh, I really think that uh, we football players are lucky, lucky guys. You know, we have, we do uh, what we love to do. So we just need to enjoy it's so short our career. So there is no time to um, to be depressed or to be sad. And it happens. When it happens, you need to move. You need to change. Belief is always a dream. Yes. So now you're turned uh, 27. Can you name us, please, your dreams in football and in your life out of football pitch? Our main motivation as a football player uh, is always um, find a place where you feel at home and also uh, find a club where you can play your best in your best level, in your best role. Projecting the future is the kind of pressure that I, that I want, you know. Uh, playing a team that I identify 100%, where I feel comfortable, um, and uh, where I can achieve my goals. Uh, and also in my private life, you know, uh, be with my, my fiance, getting married, having kids. Uh, it's my next step, so uh, I just wish my family always uh, health and my friends, people around me. And for me, it's the most important because if they are okay, I'm okay too. So it's what I wish in my private life. Joe, you're so positive. You're so positive. We, we've discussed it with the guys from media team before the start of the interview. So what is the most interesting, Joao? So the, mo the most interesting question for us was like how you, you look like so positive every time. And with that 
to, to uh, say that you make positive all of us, all people around you with your mood. So we'd like just to say good luck everywhere, especially here. Thanks for the interview, mate. Thank you. All Thank the you. best.